Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom. Now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs, and before we get into this video, if this is not your first time ever watching one of my videos and you enjoy my multiverses news videos, hit that subscribe button guys, cause oh my god, I was shocked to see this number. I'm gonna slap it on for y'all right now. BAM! 96%?! <laughs> yeah, bro, I feel used. Yeah, y'all just using me for for my knowledge and stuff. Like, can I can I get some love? Can, can y'all hit the subscribe button for me, guys? Like, if y'all want to see future multiverses news, tips and tricks when the game comes out, and competitive play, this is the channel for y'all, man. Hit that fucking subscribe button, guys. And let's get straight into this video. So, if you keep up with my social media, yes, the cat's out the bag. I'm in the playtest. Yes, I am a playtester. I can't speak about it, and that's the point of this title is that I know too much. And this is why I'm going to stick with just doing the news videos of multiverses. I'm not going to do any speculation of this and the third because y'all don't know about my boy Spada. He pretty much said it as clear as day. I know too much. I, I can't make speculations. I can't make roster things. I can't because I know too much. And that's all I can really say, guys. So for now, we're going to keep doing the news as much as I can with Tony answering stuff. With multiverses releasing new um, content, you know, whenever they do until the game finally releases to where i could fully go full full mode on like going crazy with content and everything but let's get into the greedy news that y'all came here for now the first greedy news that we have guys is again if you've been watching my channel you would know this a boy honey loon literally gave feedback about how steven looked and how he didn't really look or feel himself from the trailer and look at that multiverses they updated steven universes off of one person saying something there are probably a couple other people but this is the one that stuck out and that they took consideration actually talking to and look he looks different the man got a whole relook over it that is amazing this is how you know this game is gonna do so amazing man like they listen to their community bro one person says something like i said probably a couple other people did but this is the one that stuck out on at least on social media the next news that we have is competitive play guys we have my boy arm army good sorry if i said your name wrong pretty much is asking hey tony will y'all be making a push for evo 2023 if the game does well and will you support the competitive esports scene if you don't know i heard some news about smash not being an evil which is sad to hear because like i said i'm brand new to the fighting scene and i just know that you know these community events are what makes smash smash and i learned that nintendo didn't want to be there this year which is very unfortunate but my tony my man tony right here saying that they will be sporting esports so if you weren't too sure or unsure about when he said that they're gonna be supporting esports this is just another comfort of letting y'all know that tony and the team will be supporting esports for this game and then the final news that everyone's been waiting for is my boy mark and my boy mark said any particular reason multiverses is under nda games like Rogue company smy and paladins were built all alongside with the community in the beta form rolling out builds to the test until release the tony response was hi thanks for the question i think we felt we were very early and didn't know how much further we had to go we wanted to be careful about preserving first impressions of what we felt was representative of the real game but will be opening up soon and this is the best response i believe tony or multiverses or anybody that works for that company could ever say to be honest guys first impressions on game are everything i know people say oh yeah, yeah, yeah just throw this game out and you know we'll work with you and help you out no guys First impressions literally break or make games and I'm happy that Tony them is taking the time and trying to make this game as perfect as they think they can make it. And guys, trust me, it's going to be worth the wait. Uh, you rather want a well done game than a game that is not complete. We've seen it happen many times where games are hyped up and because the fans wanted it so much that devs push it and force it and rushed it and the games just do terrible. I'll give you a prime example. Look at Cyberpunk. Like how many bugs and errors and graphics design and that was a solo player game imagine an online game we don't want them to rush this game guys i know it is tiring to wait but it'll be worth it guys and like you just saw what tony just said that they're hoping to open it up soon can soon mean really soon or can soon just mean soon we don't know the best time i'll give y'all guys is give this game until 
summertime. Well, I will say that. We'll say summertime is when they'll have an open beta. The game won't be fully out yet, but they'll have like an early, uh, like a early access type type thing. I feel like. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the news, guys, and for the video today. Eh? Leave a like if you like the video. Comment about any. You know, I love your comments. I'll respond to what I can because I already know there's gonna be comments down because I'm a play tester. But obviously, I can't answer y'all, so I'm sorry. And I shouldn't even have to say this, but I'll say it again. Hit that motherfucking subscribe button, guys, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got a 9 to 5 on the side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find better